like making beats, you're in for a treat tonight because we've got the new drum machine by Rob Papen, Punch. It's a VST instrument that can exist inside your Ableton Live, so you can uh, use it as part of more complicated uh, things with vocals and such. Here I'm overlaying three beats that I made in almost no time at all. You know, you can get into it pretty fast. It's good for uh, beginners or professionals. Either way, it's got, uh, it's got you covered with a lot of nice features. So let's look into it, shall we? Punch from Rob Papen is a VSTi, that is a VST instrument, which means that you run it from inside another program. In this case, it is Ableton Live. It is a drum machine, it is a drum synthesizer, and it is a drum sampler. And you notice I got the nice swing by using the uh, groove function on Ableton. My uh, MIDI messages are commanding these various uh, sounds inside um, Punch. Each one brings up a screen up here so I can alter the parameters. So we're going to do that, um, you know. What can you say? It sounds great. This is the first bank that appears when you load it up. And they have a sort of, I guess it's a demonstration of some of the different types of sounds. You know, some of them are synthesized, like this uh, deep kick drum, while others are sampled. You get the best of both worlds. That's what I say. It's always best to have. Here I am making an industrial sounding beat. This is a drum synth. So we get a lot more control than would otherwise be on a sample-based drum machine. And of course, to uh, really freak out the people at the show, you could uh, be mutating these while you are playing. Also included is a built-in step sequencer, if you don't want to use Ableton's. And if you want to, you can run it at twice the host speed, or at half the host speed. An often overlooked but nice feature for, uh, you know, if you're doing remix work or something like that. I guess you could map this to a MIDI controller and then uh, do interesting things by suddenly changing up your beats or slowing them way down. You can always get a lot of strange sounds out of a drum synthesizer as well. Here we are using FM synthesis. I also altered the snare from a sort of traditional 909 snare into this uh, weird filtered experience that you're now hearing. And I'm running uh, the whole thing through uh, Live's filter delay. For those hardcore industrial kinds, they even have a bunch of different types of distortion that you can use. That's very nice. Simulating different sort of analog uh, distortion devices. So you'll notice on multi-mode, I can send it out stereo six. And then, Then, on another audio track, I have selected Punch Multi, and uh, I've selected these independent outs here. So I'm sending just the kick drum through that, and I can, you know, record or reprocess that. If I want to, I can send all of my different drums out, some of these different outs. That's very nice for uh, the control freaks, are the masters of mixing and mastering. Anyway, it's... Uh, you know, there are easy options for those who are just getting started, and there's advanced options for when you really want to uh, go in depth. So look at this. In just a few minutes, I was able to build a whole bunch of different uh, drum beats. And now I can turn them all on at once. Uh, turn that one off because that one's got swing on it. That's why it doesn't mesh in with these others. They're more on standard time. In summary, Rob Papen's punch 
is a VSTI instrument that you can put into a host like Ableton Live is what I'm using, but you could use any VST host like uh, FL Studio or Logic. Uh, it's available on Mac and PC. As you can hear, it sounds great. Um, basically, it's like a separate drum machine that lives inside the app. You know, and uh, that's a big compliment because you know I like drum machines. And uh, it sounds great, and it sounds very punchy. So uh, that's, that's where you get the name Punch, I guess. I'm definitely going to use it on some projects real soon. And uh, that's the biggest compliment I can give. Subscribe, give your comments. This is VJ Franz K signing out for now.